In the last episode with the card laptop, we installed the legendary first-person shooter Doom. Today we are going to set it up on a network and get some deathmatch going. Now, in order for us to do that, we need to have a second computer. It doesn't matter what kind of computer it is, as long as it can run DOSBox. And for that purpose, I'm introducing my daily driver. This is my MacBook Pro. It is a 2011 with an Intel processor. Now the thing we need to do is make sure that DOSBox is set up and the Doom is installed, of which I have already done. And here is a quick demo to get to show you that both of them do have Doom installed via DOSBox. Now obviously a MacBook Pro is a different kind of beast to the card laptop, so there are going to be a couple of little changes, but don't worry, I'll take you through them. So here is Doom running on the MacBook Pro through DOSBox. And here it is running on the card laptop. You'll notice that the resolution or the aspect ratio is slightly different. I'm going to keep it that way so you can differentiate between the Linux laptop and the MacBook. We need to make a change to our dosbox.config file, which is under the dosbox directory. I'm going to take a copy of it just for backup purposes in case I mess it up. You can see I've already got a couple of copies there. So when I edit the file, if you scroll right down to the bottom of the jar, you will find there is an entry called IPX. By default, it is set to false. We want to set that to true. This is the thing that tells DOSBox that we want to enable networking. Now we just need to save the file. So now we jump over to the MacBook and we do the same thing. The file we want is under the home directory, under the library folder, under preferences, and once we set up the view slightly differently, you will see there is another dosbox.conf uh, file there. We are going to make exactly the same change. So I'm going to open up with text edit. And again, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the jar. There is the IPX entry. We will set that to true. And save the file and exit. So now we will open up DOSBox. We go back to the Linux machine and find out what our IP address is on the network. If you type in the command ifconfig, it will come up with all this information here about your networking. We're looking for something with a standard IP address like this one. This is what we're after. Yours may be a 10 dot something dot something or something a little different from that, but you're looking for an IP address. And that is the one we need. So that is the IP address of the Linux box. So I want to do an IPX net start server and I'm picking the port 19900 for no other reason than I don't think it's being used for anything else too important. So on the MacBook I type in IPX connect and the IP address and then the port and you'll see it doesn't work because I messed up the command. That colon is not meant to be there, it's meant to put a space in. Give it a second. And it fails. And the reason it fails is because I haven't set up the firewall on the Linux machine properly. So in order to do that, we go into Administration and we click on Firewall because we need to allow the networking, the MacBook, to connect to the Linux book. 
put in our admin password. Now this shows where all of the various ports and services and stuff can go through the firewall. We need to set up a port. Here we go. So we'll click on add. The port is 19900 and the protocol is UDP. While you have a choice of your port, you have to select UDP as the protocol. Now that that's done, we can close that. We also need to run the deathmatch server on the Linux machine. Most of these settings are okay. The one really interesting is the one at the top where it says wait to connect or already connected. We want to wait to connect because this is our server. So back on the MacBook, it now connects to IPX. We now set up the DM entry, but this time, there we go. This time we select already connected because we know the server is waiting for us to connect. We hit F10 and the game is good to go. Now I have the MacBook as the big screen, the Linux box as the little screen. Let's make these both full screen, shall we? There we go. So again, the MacBook Pro is the big screen and the little screen is the card laptop. So let's just wander around a bit and I'm going to just head into this room here and wait for the computer. So now I jump on the MacBook Pro and I drive the networking game from there. There we go. So now when he walks through this door, there is the other player ready and waiting for him. Now to show that this is really a connected game, I'm going to get each player to do a couple of spins. If you watch one of them, the view will rotate and the other screen will show the other player just rotating on the spot. So there's the MacBook doing the rotation and now we get the Linux guy to do the same. And there we go. So these two are working in the same space. They are playing the same game. They really are facing each other. These games are networked. You are good to play a deathmatch. Now to see how that looks at the laptops themselves, here is a view of an external camera that is pointing to each of the laptops. There we go. So we start the deathmatch on the server, which is our Linux box. Everything is good to go, so we get F10. We go over to the MacBook Pro, we run the same command. Everything looks good there, so we get F10. The games connect. And we have a deathmatch ready to go. Well done. basically get the players to head to the same spot. There we go, we have both players in the same room looking at each other. So there you go, that's how you get Doom onto a network and play a deathmatch. I haven't tried it with three or four players, but basically you're still going to run the same setup. The Linux box will be the server and the other three machines connect in the same way. Thank you very much.